Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I decided I am going to film my skincare video. And I'm not going to do like what other YouTubers do and actually take you into my bathroom and show you me washing my face and all that junk. I just, I'm not like as happy with my skin um, because of all the acne marks that I have and hyperpigmentation. So I'm not quite as brave as other people. So I'm just going to skip that part and just show you the products that I use and kind of run through how I use them. I have a ton of products looking at it now. I didn't think that I used a ton. I thought I only used a few, but um, I actually have like a whole table full of my skincare routine. So um, I'm just going to go from um, day into night and then like treatments and masks and facial sprays that I use and all that junk. So when I get up in the morning, I... First thing I like to do is, no matter if I'm in a hurry or not, I like to take time to actually cleanse my face in the morning because I find that it makes a big difference if I cleanse in the morning instead of just splashing water on my face and t using a toner and then following up with makeup. Um, I just find like if I cleanse my face in the morning first um, instead of just doing it at night, I find that it really helps keep my acne at bay. Um, the cleanser that I like to use, and this is for day and night, is the Acne Free Oil Free Acne Cleanser. And this is a benzoyl peroxide formula, and it has 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Now, I used to use a salicylic acid cleanser, but my skin hates salicylic acid. Like, it actually made my acne and my breakouts much worse. And I did not enjoy it. it. Really would dry my face out, and I just didn't like it. This has been a huge lifesaver. I first heard about this. Um, the brand is Acne Free, and I first heard about this from Claire, um, from Hey Claire, um, on YouTube, and she used it. She used it. Oh my gosh, she used it, and. Um, I thought I would try it because I kind of was fed up with everything not working, so I figured what the heck, like, it's not going to make it any worse. So my skin really loves this, and I find that it's really helped to keep my skin clear. If I'm having a really bad skin time um, of the month, or just like, if it's been obscenely humid out and disgusting, um, my skin just is going haywire. Um, I use a higher percentage of benzoyl peroxide, and I like to use this cleanser. It is from X Out, which I believe this is a proactive line. Like this is like a you know like a sister of proactive. Um, this is a this is called their wash in treatment, and this has eight point five percent benzoyl peroxide. It is a very gritty formula. It feels like sandpaper. This is a really like gentle formula. It has microbeads in it, but it's not like a harsh cleanser where you feel like you're scrubbing away at your face. This is very um, textured. It's it it looks like toothpaste when it comes out, and it's very gritty, and it just really exfoliates. And you can also use this as a quick mask for like 10 minutes. You can put it on your face and leave it on, and then um, just wash it off. I would never use this with um, my Clarisonic. I would only use this cleanser, the Acne Free with the Clarisonic, because this is so exfoliating on its own. Um, so if I'm having a really bad skin month or skin week, I reach for this and I find that it helps immensely. So after I've cleansed, I like to tone. This is my favorite toner. It is from Michael Todd True Organics and it is a blue-green algae antibacterial toner. It's highly moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial, aids in the treatment and prevention of acne. Toner is a really important step that I think everyone needs to do. Um, this toner, this is my third bottle. I love this. This is my favorite toner. Um, 
I just find that it just really, really helps. And because it's antibacterial, it helps prevent acne from forming or coming back. Um, and it helps current spots go away faster. And I just cannot say enough good things about this. My skin is very sensitive, very acne prone, very oily. And this does not irritate it whatsoever. And I just am obsessed. So I just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad. These I just picked up from CVS. They're 100% cotton, non-irritating, dual surface, um, whatever. They're super cheap, hypoallergenic. For some reason, the CVS brand I like the best. I don't know what it is about these cotton rounds, but I have another like random generic brand of cotton rounds in my drawer. And I don't know, but these are just my favorite. I love them, and they're really cheap. So... Um, after I've toned, and it's this is currently still the morning routine, I put on my moisturizer, which I have mentioned this before. This is the Pie Geranium and Thistle Combination Skin Cream. And I just put just one pump on, and I pat it into my skin. Um, I learned this from Caroline Hirons. Um, she is just like an amazing skin expert from the UK. And um, I learned from her that with oils and everything, you should pat it into your skin because it absorbs easier than if you're just, um, just wiping it over your skin. It absorbs better if you pat it. So I do that. Following up with an eye cream, I know, like, I actually do the eye cream first, so I'm going out of order, which I'm really sorry. Um, so the eye cream I use in the morning is the Origins um, Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. And it's just in a little pot like this. You can pick this up from Sephora. Um, and I think it's, it's a little on the more expensive side. This is what the cream looks like. It's kind of, like, pinky, flesh-toned. Um, but I really find that in the morning, if my eyes are puffy, this just really helps to brighten under there and depuff. And I just really like this so far. So, and this is a new discovery. Like, this is my first tub of this, but I really like it so far. So, that is in the morning. Following up with a sunscreen. The, scun the sunscreen of choice that I have been loving is Kate Somerville's Daily Deflector Water Light Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus PA plus 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 and it just looks like this I picked this up um, also from Sephora but I know you can pick this up from Nordstrom too um, this is a really great sunscreen I it has not broken me out which is a huge deal because everything breaks me out sunscreen wise this has not and I love the scent of it um, um, it actually smells like if you watch the Ray viewer um, on YouTube, she described the scent as those, um, oh, what are they called? Now I'm ha now I don't remember what they are. Those candies, those little hard banana candies. Good and, are they good and, they're not good in plenty, right? No, I don't think so. Anyways, I, I'm totally getting off subject, but that's what it smells like. It smells like bananas like banana candies. It smells really good and I really love this. I also pat this into my skin. So that is morning skincare and then before I put on my makeup I always do a spray. So I like the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. So after I've done all my skincare routine, which it literally, I know it sounds like a lot of product, but it only takes me like 10 minutes max to do everything. Like really like five minutes just to get everything done out of the way. Um, so before I put on my makeup, I prep my skin instead of using a primer. I use the D-Slick. I spray it all over my face and I let that set in and dry and then I continue with makeup and then I finish off with this. And then I find if I'm needing a little bit of hydration and moisture during the day, I like to use the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's just really great stuff. And I love the smell. It is an extremely strong scent. So again, if you don't like strong scents near your face, you are not going to like this. Like, I'll even spray it now. Whew. It's, <coughs> it is very refreshing. I love the way it feels. It's a very cooling feeling on your skin. Um, but I just find that, that this really just helps throughout the day if I'm needing an extra boost. 
um, to my skin. It looks a little dull. And I think that's it for my morning. So moving on to evening skincare. Um, again, I cleanse. Once a week, I cleanse with my Clarisonic. Now, I used to use this every night, and then I switched it to every other night, and I find my skin actually does better if I use it, like, maximum three times a week at this point. It was just... At one point, it was helping my skin, and then my skin just went downhill fast, and I was in and out of the dermatologist's office getting, like, injections for my cysts, like, every, like, I think it was, like, every other week, and I just, I cannot use this every night. I just can't. My skin is just so sensitive, like, it just does not like this, so... I will use this a maximum of three times a week. If I'm having a really bad skin week and my skin is feeling really clogged and congested, I will reach for my Clarisonic, but I don't like using it every single day. Some people can, I just can't. Like, I will use it once a week or like three times a week, but that's it for that. And I really like to pair these two together. Um, after I've cleansed again, I go in with my Michael Todd antibacterial toner, which I love. Then after I've toned, I don't put on a night cream. I like to use oils at night. And now you're saying, oh my god, Samantha, you have oily skin. Why are you putting oil on your face? Oil, these are like really good oils. And it actually helps combat the oil that your skin is producing. So it helps to reduce the production of oil if you're using oil on your face. Um, the two that I switch between, depending on what my skin is doing that week, is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Um, it is a lot of um, pure essential oils in it. It just helps to combat your acne and just help keep things at bay. And if I'm not using this, I'm using this one. And this one's from Pi, and it's the Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend Plus Vitamin E. And this helps with diminishing um, ant blemishes, blemish marks. Um, it says it improves the appearance of scars, fine lines, sun damage. For me, it's hyperpigmentation, dark acne marks. So I really like to switch between the two. Um, I love both of them equally, and they, my skin loves both of these things as well. So I literally just take um, a drop, like two drops. This is in a really cute pipette. So I literally, I only take two drops um, of one or the other, and I press it into my skin. Again, I'm going backwards because you're supposed to do eye creams first, which is what I do. So um, my neighbors are going to walk by because I'm doing it from the window. They're going to be like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> Anyways, um, this, not the skin cream, the eye cream I like to use at night is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And I have the smaller tub, but I'm going to need to repurchase this really soon because I am hitting the bottom of the tub. Um, lately, my under eye area has been super dry. So this is very hydrating and moisturizing. It's very, very thick. Um, so I literally only need a tiny little bit. And with eye creams, you always want to pat. You don't want to swipe. So I pat it under my eyes with my ring finger. And I really find that it just helps really nourish overnight my under eyes. I just really, really love this stuff. And I love Kiehl's in general as a brand. I think they're amazing. I think they have great, great products. That is why I use some of them. And yeah, I can't say enough good stuff. So, um, eye creams, oil, and then if I'm feeling like I'm having congestive skin, which I use this every night just to help keep marks um, and spots at bay, and this is what I, I have this for my dermatologist, so if you have a dermatologist, maybe you can ask them about this. Um, this is clindamycin and... It is only 1% clindamycin, and it is for topical use only. It's a clear gel, and I put it on all over. Like, I put it on all my chin area because that's where I tend to break out, and I put a little bit, like, on any 
marks that I've had that have or spots that have gone away that have left marks I like to put this over that so I don't get a repeat um, of that spot because that's it tends to happen like that I'll get a repeat like it'll pop up in the same spot so this has helped significantly keep my spots at bay um, it is um, from my doctor so I don't think you can just get this over the counter I think you have to have a prescription for it mine is um, really getting low so I'm gonna need to repurchase it but um, yeah this has really helped significantly um, two other products that I've discovered this year and I can't live without and they're amazing. They're from Mario Badescu. Um, one is the, um, the buffering lotion and the other one is the drying lotion. Buffering lotion is, um, has a clear liquid and then a bunch of like silt looking stuff at the bottom. So you just want to shake it up and then it has just a dropper. So I take a couple drops. It's very liquidy, so you need to be really careful. Um, I take a couple drops, and then I pop them on the spot that is um, coming up. Or even if I feel a spot coming on, I immediately put this on. Because I find that the next day, the red spot or the bump that is coming up is significantly shrunk. Um if not completely disappeared. It takes out the redness, it prevents the spot from coming up, um, it really helps get rid of it, it definitely shortens the life of the spot um, if it's already coming up. I just think it's amazing. This product saved, saved, saved my skin. Another product that I like to use in conjunction is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion and this is, it has um, sulfur and just a lot of weird weird stuff in it um but pretty much it's this uh funky looking yellow liquid and then at the bottom is this pink stuff and you take a um q-tip and I just dip it in and you want to make sure you dip it in all the way to the bottom you don't want to shake this up at all like the other one and then you just put this spot um the pink stuff on the spot and I find that it helps even more in drying out the spot. Um, this helps for cystic acne which is what I get which are the really deep ones that are very painful and they don't ever surface. This I find works best for little spots that are already on the surface and helps dry them up immediately. This works deep, really deep in the skin. Um, and these two have been a massive lifesaver. So for masks, I have two and then I have a Michael Todd one that I don't have right now but um, I'm going to repurchase and I think it's the, um, it's like the, some, it's a clay mask but I love it. Um, but I like both of these masks too and they're both drugstore so you can get them I think at Ulta for really cheap. Um, this is from Freeman and it is the facial anti-stress mask with Dead Sea Minerals. Purifies and clears pores. So this is what it, the um, bottle looks like. And it is a blue mask. So you put this all over your face and you let it dry and then you rinse it with warm water and I find that this just helps clear up any issues my skin's feeling really clogged and just congested I really like reaching for a mask I feel like it really does help just penetrate into your skin um, another one that I love that I love <laughs> that I love is from um, I don't I don't know how you even pronounce this, but it's from Plant Stem Cells. It contains high potency plant stem cells. This is the anti-aging skin renewal clay mask. And this is um, like, a, as I just shoot it out, did you guys just see that? Oh my God, it went all over my table. Um, this is just like a gray um, mask and it, it smells really minty, like peppermint. It smells a lot like a Veda product. So if you guys know what a Veda smells like, that's what this smells like. It smells really like spa-like. Um, yeah, but this is supposed to help um, absorb impurities and unclog your pores. Notice there's a trend going on with um, 
purifying and getting rid of impurities because I have very acne prone skin so that's what I need. Um, yeah, I really like either of these masks. I think they work great. I do them about once a week so I switch between the two depending on what I feel like doing um, that week. Um, I have a just a chapstick, like a lip balm. I know it's kind of weird to mention, but I feel like it's part of your, your lips are part of your face. So, um, the one I love to use at night is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm, and I love the lemon and chamomile. This also has SPF 25, so if you're laying out in the sun, this is a great one to use. And it comes in a really cute little tube like this. My husband loves the Jack Black um, skincare line. It's for men. But I love... Their, their lip balms. I find that this just works so, so well. And there's tons of different fragrances. This one is my favorite. It just smells so yummy and delicious. But the grapefruit one and the black um, tea um, pomegranate, I think, smells really great too. They have a vanilla one and a mint one. and But I just find these little lip balms are great. I love to just pop them in my bag. So if I'm outdoors and my lips feel really dry and chapped, this is a great little thing to just pop on your lips. Um, and then, so after I've taken off my makeup and stuff, if I've noticed that I still have some like mascara under my eyes that maybe my um, eye makeup remover didn't take off, these are my favorite facial wipes to use. I don't use them to take off my makeup at all because, again, my skin's so sensitive. I have to be really careful. I just like using these to remove any excess eye makeup, really. Um, and they're from Pons, and I just like the original ones, um, and they have vitamin E. And I just pick these up at Target or Walgreens um, or CVS or really wherever. Um, these are just my favorite. I've used so many other little... Um, face wipes and I don't like them at all. This brand I keep using over and over and over again and um, I'm going to need to get another pack because these are going to be gone really soon but these are my favorite facial wipes to use just to get rid of excess eye makeup. And I think that is it. Holy cow, that was a ton of products now that I'm looking at my table. But I really wanted to share with you guys what I like to use on my skin for my skincare and masks and all these different treatments that I like to do and I've really found that these products that I mentioned although they seem like a lot they have really really helped clear up my skin as long um along with drinking a lot of water and eating really carefully really clean really healthy um, and not drinking too much caffeine because I find that caffeine actually really does irritate my skin too. So I have to be really careful with how much caffeine I'm consuming and I don't do any dairy at all. Um, I'll do cheese once in a while but no like cow's milk or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just really careful about what I put into my body because it does come out through your skin. Um, so drinking a lot of water is key. It just helps keep everything hydrated and it just keeps your skin glowing and looking beautiful. So yeah, um, I highly suggest trying out any of these products. I found that they are wonderful and I have very sensitive skin. So. If you have sensitive skin, maybe try either um, any of these products. They're really great. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.